Welcome back one more time, everybody. Mike McConville here, Stratford, Ontario, for Strength Tech Workstations. Yeah, I've had a bunch of people asking different questions about the two different models of Tech Deck. So in the foreground here, we have the XLT. But before we even go there, I want to give everybody sort of a heads up on just how frugal I have always been. Most of what I buy is either bought at the local surplus store or the local hardware store. There's very few items that are highly specialized other than the actual two workstations. And why is that? Well, because where you set the guitar down is where you start. And protecting the guitar and manipulating it into the most advantageous position for whatever job I'm doing as quickly and efficiently as I can is number one priority. And that's why we've spent all of this time designing a one-stop multi-adjustable guitar repair workstation. Okay, so we'll start with the XLT. Sorry for the mess, but uh, this is reality. As you know, anyone who's watched my videos, this is real-time repairs on real instruments. Anything you can imagine, I've done it. This video that you're watching right now is number 400. With both of these workstations now, the fact that they fold up into a portable case and the main base is now the case itself, a rectangular form. It leaves tons of storage. All my snapshot containers for the guys that are on tour. You can take your all the bits and pieces that you might need while you're on tour. I personally kind of go with this high density foam and jam all my tools. You know, I got my multimeter and all the bits and pieces kind of jammed into a one compact portable solution. So the main difference between the XLT and the GPS unit is the XLT has a single pivoting block, leather covered pivoting block. Still allows you to cinch the neck down if you're flipping the guitar over to work on the electronics or flipping it up on its side, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so let's talk about the GPS unit. So the GPS unit carries on the tradition of the original Tech Deck Elite. We've got the leather padded body platform with the foam underneath. A much more robust and much more versatile neck support platform. So with two platforms and the pivoting neck assembly with a sliding block. Virtually any type of fret work, fret dressing, refretting. So this allows you to set up quickly one-handed adjustment. So you've got 20 indexing positions for each platform, 20 times 20, and then the third platform, 20. Flying V, a round back guitar, arch top guitar, telly, uh, upright bass, support the neck and the body simultaneously or individually. Now this particular model is dropped into a regulation style flight case, and that is essentially the regular case bolted into this flight case. Same amount of storage, I've got that as a blank right now. You can use your own imagination of what you want to put in there. You cut out the cavities as you need them. There's plenty of space for storage. So with these two new models, it's not just that it's a fraction of the price of the original unit, but it's actually more versatile, more storage room, actually built into a case you can kind of take with you. And in the case of the GPS unit, it actually comes with that leather upgrade as well. So with the XLT, we have this single pivoting block it still allows you to cinch the neck down and hold the guitar firmly by the neck. The case is identical, the body platform is identical, and the set of straps that comes with it is also identical. If you're doing any type of work like this, even, or if you're doing your kit guitars, sort of bolting tellies and strats together, well, this is a match made in heaven. Both of these units were designed to shadow every move you make, holding the instrument firmly in place, while you concentrate on the task at hand. Now the other thing I've laid out for you to see is I have one, two, three, four, five sanding blocks. And yes, these are the blocks that you see in the hundreds of videos that I've posted on various guitar work. There's my Stanley side cutters. I think I got those at the surplus store too. I think they were nine bucks or ten bucks maybe. I've got about four of these digital calipers. I think they were $14 each. And then these flip open razor knives. Uh, I don't know, I got a half a dozen of those. They were also about five bucks a piece. And the box of tongue depressors that you see me use over and over and over again. Okay, it was $12.89. So it works out to about 2.5 cents each. And over the course of these 400 videos, you've seen me use those tongue depressors 
for multiple purposes. So there's your basic wrap up. We're going to get back to that Gibson guitar and that other one that we were working on yesterday. So the whole thrust behind this is to make everybody's job faster, easier, safer. And so for the small mom and pop shops and guys that are working at home like me, these workstations are the biggest guitar repair lure on the planet. A guitar pro shop in a box.